And she said, when I think of him, I still cry. Rushed to the mantelpiece to show us his picture and said, you know, I weep. But then I think of the 42 years we had together. And he was a carpenter for the maintenance staff at local university, didn't have much money. But he built a boat in which they went fishing, and they camped together. And um, it was no problem. OK. The third thing that, um, oh dear, what is the third thing? Um, This is the defect of uh, <laughs> getting on in years. You sometimes forget things. Um, she re dealt with the piano that was now in her room by giving free piano lessons to all of the neighbors. And she also then played at an evening exercise dance class, or she called it an exercise class, but then she reflected and said, you know, it's really dancing. And so she again took the sinful dancing and made it joyous, healthy dancing. Her husband was blind during his last years, and she would read him books imitating all the accents of the characters in the book, just as she had when she was on the vaudeville stage. So we call this sublimation, which is gratification without sin. Again, uh, turning dross into gold. Now, underneath the sewing table was a pool table, which had always been her husband's. And come weekends, the screen door was open, the top came off the sewing table, and all of the young adolescent punks in the neighborhood who the other people were keeping out with double bolted doors and gated communities came in and they played pool together. And then she jumped up again and she said, this is what I do with my time. And when she moved to Akron, she left the Christian church, which always seemed a little dour to her, and joined the Episcopalian church, which had insult scents and bright colors. And fresh with the prejudice that her parents had tried to teach her about Catholics, she first worked on the church own church ecumenical council, and then on the Akron ecumenical council, and now at 78 was on the Ohio ecumenical council. Nine members, eight men, eight college educated, and one Susan welcome with no uh, college degree. And she started out uh, working as the secretary, and then when a man replaced her as secretary, she became editor of the uh, Ecumenical News for Ohio, and she gave us a couple of copies with articles by her. But again, she rushed up to the uh, mantelpiece and said, let me show you the members of my board. And there were eight male middle-aged, charismatic men who they would go out to restaurants and have meals together. And at the end of the interview, you know, old age, loss. Uh, she'd had a close network of friends by keeping together the mother's group that she'd organized when her children were in the K-2s. And she'd kept going for the next uh, 40 years. Uh, and I said, what do you do when 
they die. And, and she said, well, I have lots of younger women in my church group, what I friends with, but what she'd really done is when her women friends died, she replaced them with charismatic 45-year-old men and a whole bunch of teenage pool sharks. <laughs> we have some time for uh, questions. I'd, I'd love to try to answer them, or you can object to what I've said and uh, correct me. If I can recall correctly, in your work between um, useful cope, mature coping uh, mechanisms and immature, uh, anticipation was a positive, uh, mature, and it sort of disappeared at some point in your in your write-up uh, as a as one of the um, useful ones. Am, am I remember that correctly? Uh, no, I mean the defense. Two defenses that I loved were. Uh, altruism and uh, sublimation because they make such good uh, copy. I mean, Beethoven overcoming blindness by writing uh, the Ninth Symphony, I mean, that's cool. It's still platinum after 200 years. So, but the bad news is that altruism and sublimation are only weakly correlated with successful aging. The two biggies are stoicism, because seventh rule of the Bombay Golf Club is you play the ball where the monkey drops it. That's important in old age. Uh, and the second is anticipation. Rehearsing without catastrophizing emotional pain that's on its way rather than like Scarlett O'Hara saying, I'll think about it tomorrow. She already yesterday was figuring that Brett Butler was going to get tired of this narcissistic dame. Um, so it's very important. It's less colorful to illustrate, and it's used less often than the other four mature. So I don't mention it just because it's not good copy. Scientifically, hold right on to it. Yeah. Uh, you paint a compelling portrait of individual generativity. 